everyone, we're gonna jump our man tech. Today we got a service pull at this unit's not working. Got a broken belt. And they said that this belt tore up a bunch of wires, which we see here. Gotta see if we can figure this all out, see where this gets connected, and see if we get them going. This is definitely messed up. It's one piece of the belt. This part is just stuck in here. Completely tore apart all this insulation. Look at that. These wires are disconnected. I wonder where they go. This is all messed up. Take off these tie wraps. See if we can trace this out. Figure out where this even goes. Everything in here is gone. This, this must have went through there. I wonder what the other side looks like. Must be all torn up inside there too. Uh, this is an old unit. Let's see if we can get this thing going. See where any of this even goes. We got two compressors here for their air conditioning. And uh, this is their heating system right over here. Gas, heat, natural gas. If you look inside, we got a bunch of torn up wires inside here too. I'm gonna strip them back, clean them up, see if we can match them up by color, run them in, and hopefully we can get this system running, put on a new belt, see why that would happen in the first place, take care of that, and get them going. There is some sort of wiring diagram here, hopefully we can go by that. This is a real mess, this is a tricky situation here. Been many, many technicians here, you can see. This is disconnected. Hopefully we get this going. It's a large unit. Start with matching up color by color. Some of them we can match up, but these black ones, there's three of them, so I'm not sure where that's gonna go. We're gonna have to trace that out. But let's start with uh, getting some truck, getting some wire from the truck, and running some extensions on these, run them to the other side, match them up color by color. And then the ones that we can't trace out, well, have to trace it out, see what happens. We've got some stranded wire. We're gonna go connect color for color, wire for wire. Once we got our colors connected, then we can finally trace out the wiring that we don't know. And I see that the three black wires that I'm not sure where they go to, it actually goes here. Looks like it goes into this enthalpy control and works with this damper, which I don't even think this thing worked to begin with. So, so we're going to get them going. Let's go wire for wire and get what we can. Change this whole setup. That safety limit over there. Limit switch disconnected. Uh, let's see what's going on. Let's go wire for wire. This is now wired. My fan motor is wired. I matched up whatever colors I could. There's just three black wires where I don't know where they go. And they go somewhere down here. Just open up this damper, which is already open. And uh, if you look inside here, that limit switch says auxiliary limit switch one is disconnected. So we're not gonna get heat here. So I got this what I can. Let's come around to the control panel. Got their own luxury entrance <laughs> got that connected here are those three black wires that go inside there got to figure that out but we have two wires here one is a white and black one is a white and pink I traced out the white and pink it comes down here right here to this airflow switch okay and then the white and black comes down here right here to our main limit so, 
and these wires don't go down there well they actually they do so right there we had to find that auxiliary limit switch from inside we look over here ALS 1 so we have four controls here in series that go into the ignition control all right so uh, inside the blower section ALS 1 auxiliary limit switch 1 is disconnected so one wire is going to come from differential pressure switch which is going to be our airflow differential pressure reads air, air pressure that is our white and white and pink that's that's going to run I'm going to run a wire from here into that auxiliary limit switch and then out of that auxiliary limit switch I'm going to run one wire back and that gets connected to MLS which is our main limit switch which is our black wire so once so that's our safety so we're gonna do that right now so from auxiliary limit we're gonna run it into from the differential switch we're gonna run into our, our auxiliary limit and from the auxiliary limit we're gonna run it into our main our main limit and now we just have these damper motors wires left so that's that and guys so we just wired our limit ran these wires tie wrapped everything nice and neat up here it's all going across all feeds through here so we have all our matched up colors and we have our safety limits uh, we just have these three black wires here they run somewhere down here and I have three black wires in the control panel so that's all that needs to be figured out now to install the fan belt start this thing up and see what happens this is a b71 belt and the way i would like to put it on just like that stretch it out a little bit and put it on that's how people usually put it on how i usually do it too but we're gonna have to loosen this up and work these bolts and uh adjust this motor put on the belt adjust it back and get the right tension the mark i made that's where this plate was sitting i loosen these two bolts all you do is you spin this one way or the other and it pushes the plate down. Just got the belt on. The last three wires, they come somewhere here, but look at these filters. That's what a clean, clean, clean one looks like compared to it. It's horrible. The shape of this coil, a million bugs stuck in here. It's like, oh my god, it's Mosquito Island up in here. Oof, let me bring that camera up in here. Oh man, gotcha. How'd you get past the filter though? <laughs> I got rid of those three wires, I ran two new wires here. And I have it cooked up to the 24 volts for this Blumo valve. And on the opposite end, I have one side hooked up to common. And I have the other side hooked up to G from the fan. So when that's energized, it's going to work these gears. So everything is wired and we're ready to test. Uh, we got the system running right now. We're in heat. So when the blower motor energizes, it opens up this damper. It'll give you a quick peek at the motor. I made an adjustment and everything should be balanced now. Everything's running fine. We got neat wires. Here's the wires coming in here. Everything nice and neat. And here's the gears. If you can see, these two are open. So everything's cool. That's that. I'm just gonna replace the filters because this coil is filthy and these are the old disgusting filters. And that's about it. So the fan belt tore off because it was in a bad position. I adjusted it straight. We replaced the belt, tore up all those wires. We traced out each wire color for color. Then, um, then we wired the safety controls. Then we ran new wires. To the damper motor and the damper motor gets energized when the uh, evaporator fan turns on and uh, 
that's about it. Found this video interesting, or helpful. Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys next time.